Hey, ugly. Would you please break up with Blake right now? I can't believe a woman like you is dating Blake. You don't deserve him at all. I need you to break up now. Who is this all of a sudden? Oh, it's Reagan, right? You're Blake's childhood friend? The one I met this morning? Bingo. Not that it matters who I am. Would you please just hurry up and break up with Blake? I was just very surprised at how different you are right now to when I saw you earlier. When I saw you earlier, you seemed to be very kind and cute. Was that all just an act? You're talking to me so aggressively, so I thought it might be someone else texting me. Of course I'm going to act nice in front of Blake. Surely you could figure that out if you use your brain even a little. Did you even manage to graduate high school? You looked really dumb, so I'm having my doubts. So, it was all just an act. I thought that you told me that you wanted to be friends with me when I gave you my number. Anyway, why are you suddenly telling me to break up with Blake? What do you mean by that? Do you not understand what those basic words mean? This is why I can't stand people like you. You're just so dumb. You definitely don't deserve a guy like Blake. He's just so much better than you. No wonder you weren't able to graduate. Blake's definitely going to regret being with you in the future. I'm saying all this for Blake's sake. I actually care about him, unlike you. Please hurry up and just break up with him. I don't think I need to listen to any of this from you. Thank you very much. I'm sure that Blake would tell me directly if he has any problems. You're just a childhood friend, right? You're not related to him or anything. You don't have any special insights that I don't. So, I'm not related to him at all. So what? Why does that matter? I've been by his side ever since we were so small. I know him so much better than anyone else. It doesn't matter if we're not related. I'm not just some random nobody like you. I really don't know what to say to you. I bet you managed to start dating Blake because of his kindness. You probably kept on pestering him until he had to say yes to you. I think that in reality, Blake likes women that are intelligent and beautiful. For example, a woman that attends a famous university and has come second place in a beauty pageant. That's me, by the way. I'm the kind of woman that deserves to date a guy like Blake. A dumb, fat, ugly blob like you who couldn't even finish high school shouldn't be dating Blake. It's bringing his reputation down just by being by your side. Do what's best for everyone and let him fly free. Sorry, but I don't have any plans to break up with Blake. Quite the opposite, actually. We're gonna get married. What did you just say to me? Did you notice that we saw you at a place pretty close to Blake's parents' house today? We had just visited his parents to let them know that we plan to get married. We're planning to have the wedding in around six months' time. What? I can't believe what you just said. You guys are getting married? What is wrong with you? I am not going to allow you to get married to Blake. Did you not understand what I told you earlier? Hurry up and break up with him. Do you really think that I'm just going to listen to what you say and break up with him? You must be insane if you really think that. Why should I listen to you anyway? Aren't you just his childhood friend? Or are you his ex-girlfriend or something? Even if you had previously dated him, you guys have broken up, right? You sound more like a crazy stalker than a friend. What did you just say? I am not a stalker or an ex. How could you even suggest such a thing? What me and Blake have between us is something very, very important. Friendship. We both trust each other a lot and tell each other everything. Oh, so you haven't even dated him before. I'm sorry. I know that it must suck to have the person that you have feelings for be taken away by someone else. Unfortunately for you, Blake says that he loves me and wants to be with me. I don't have any intention of breaking up with him. I just cannot believe what you're saying to me. Just shut the hell up. Stop being so damn arrogant. I was the one that had feelings for him first. That doesn't matter at all in our relationship. Both me and Blake are happy that we have each other. That's what's the most important. I don't care what you say to me. We're getting married regardless. What is wrong with you? I'm not going to let this happen. Do you really think that someone like you is going to get married to Blake? In your dreams. I'm going to make you regret even trying to marry him. You'd better watch your back from now on. Hey, Navier. I just arrived at the hotel. Hey, Trinity. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for coming. I'm sorry for inviting you somewhere so far away. I'm really glad that you managed to make it here. 
<laughs> Why are you being like that? I should be the one thanking you for letting me come. I would never miss your wedding, boss. I'd be happy to come, even if it was halfway across the world if it's your wedding. No, <laughs> stop calling me that nickname already. It's so embarrassing. But thanks for coming. I really mean it. Oh, I really can't believe that you're getting married. I also can't believe that you're getting married to Blake of all people. When I first heard that you two had started dating, I was so surprised. I'd never in my wildest dreams thought that you two could be getting married. I guess you never know what's going to happen in life. Ugh, how many times are you going to say that? Are you finally going to stop being surprised when we get married? You should understand why I'm surprised as well. Your nickname in our group was always Boss, Empress, or Lioness. I can't believe that the Lioness is finally getting married. I think I'm going to cry because I'm so happy. Hey, those are all pretty much insults, you know. Anyway, leave the wedding speech to me. I've practiced it over 500 times by now. Make sure you don't cry so much that all your makeup comes off. 500 times? You're taking it so seriously. I'll be looking forward to it. Leave it to me. I will not disappoint you. There's just this one problem that I'm having. It's kind of a nuisance. A problem? What happened? Wait, did Blake sleep with another woman? That idiot! You want me to go and beat him up? No, it's nothing like that. I'm not talking about Blake at all. But uh, he has this childhood friend who's kind of a problem. Ever since we told her that we're getting married, she won't stop harassing me. I think she had feelings for Blake and is really jealous of me. She sends me insults and threats every single day by text. She even comes to bother us when we're out at dinner. One time she was waiting for me outside a salon and screamed at me to break up with Blake. There are a lot of moments like that. Blake's told her to stop so many times, but she hasn't listened to him one bit, and her threats are getting worse and worse every time. And the stupidest part, according to both Blake and her, they haven't even dated a single time. What? So what the hell is wrong with her? She's not even his ex or anything, and she's still causing you all these problems? I'm kind of surprised she's brave enough to even stand up to you. You want me to go and talk to her directly? Oh, no, you don't need to bother. It's not worth your time. I know we did some sketchy things back in the day, but I'm past that already. I don't want to cause any trouble before my wedding either. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. What she's doing to me is almost kind of cute in a way, to be honest. All she does is talk and that's it. She hasn't hit me or tried to cause a fight with me a single time. It's just a little annoying, that's all. I think it'll all become okay once the wedding's finished and we move away. Well, if you're fine with it, then I guess it's okay. If you need me to help out or do something, then let me know. I can go put her in place for you if you need. <laughs> Thanks so much, Trinity. You really are a great friend. No, oh, don't be like that. I'm getting embarrassed. Let me know what's happening in detail when we go get a drink later. I'll be happy to listen to any other problems that you're having right now. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you later. I've got a couple of things to get done, and then I'll be on my way. See you later! Hey, ugly. I ran you over with a car and you only broke one bone. Just how stubborn are you? I thought I'd be able to at least destroy your face. I guess all your fat saved you from any major damage. What did you just say? I'm kind of confused right now. Did you just admit that you hit someone with a car on purpose? Didn't I tell you to watch your back? It's all your fault for wandering around at night. It's a shame you're not going to be able to have the wedding with injuries like that. What a shame! Maybe I should go to the wedding instead as the bride. I guess you should have broken up with Blake when I warned you the first time. What the hell is wrong with you? Look at what you've done, you freaking idiot! I could have been killed! I cannot believe what you've done! You absolute piece of trash! You creepy psychopath! There is no way I'm gonna let you get away with this! I hope you've enjoyed your life up until now because it's over. What's wrong with you all of a sudden? What a bad mouth you have. I guess this is who you really are. You're such a naughty girl, threatening people. You'd think you'd be a little more respectful after getting a taste of what I can do. Shut the hell up. You're just a skulking, cowardly piece of trash who hits people with cars. And not just that, you've involved one of my best friends in this. Trinity broke her leg trying to protect me. That's two people that you've seriously injured. You've gone way too far. Did you really have to do all this to try and disrupt my wedding? 
This is all your fault for not breaking up with Blake. I'm not just going to sit and watch you and Blake get married. Anyway, I've done him a huge favor. He would have regretted marrying you for the rest of his life once he realized who you really are. I know that you used to be part of a gang. That's the lowest you can go in society. I guess it's time for you to say goodbye to Blake. No, oh, you really are something. You're telling me that you still haven't realized? What are you talking about? I'm going to go and tell Blake that you're just a filthy gang member. You really don't know anything about Blake. Go and tell him whatever you want. Blake already knows everything about my past. He knows that I used to be in a gang. Blake was, too, by the way. Bet you didn't know that. What did you just say? Me and Blake used to be in opposing gangs, you know. Our gangs fought each other so many times because we both operated in the same area. Back then, Blake and I used to be huge rivals. We hated each other's guts. What are you saying? None of that makes any sense. We got into so many fights back then. I've lost count already. He's not gonna care no matter what you tell him about me. We both ended up leaving our respective gangs a long time ago, though. We ended up running into each other a little after we left. That's when we realized the rivalry we had was really fueled by something else entirely. Anyway, we started dating each other and the rest was history. We got along really well once we weren't in opposing gangs. You're lying. I don't believe any of this. There's no way Blake used to be part of a gang. He's not the kind of guy that would do something like that. Stop making him look bad. He's not a lowlife like you. Blake is a kind and caring person. What you just told me can't be true. So you really didn't know. I thought you told me that you knew everything about Blake. Haven't you heard about how much of a brat he was in middle school? Everyone I've met in his hometown jokes about how they can't believe how nice he's turned out. <laughs> I guess you guys aren't that close after all. Just shut up, you filthy degenerate. I'm not going to believe a single lie that you just told me. Hurry up and break up with Blake right now. Is that all you can say to me? You're just like a parrot. Well, none of this matters right now anyway. What's most important right now is that you've pissed me off. You want to fight me, right? I was going to let this slide, but you decided to hurt my best friend as well. I'm not forgiving you now. Wait, what? What do you want from me? Are you telling me that you want to hit me? You filthy scum. You don't have any business calling anyone else names. You're the coward that ran someone over. It really is tempting for me to come and punch you in the face. In fact, I want to break your leg just like you did at Trinity. I can mess up your face so bad, you could never show your face outside your house again. Wait! But don't worry. I'm not going to do anything like that. I don't want to sink down to your level. I'm going to make you pay for this the right way. You know that you're a criminal now, right? What you did was a hit and run. Did you, of all people, just call me a criminal? Talk about the pot calling the kettle black. You think the cops are going to care about what I do to someone like you? Do you not know anything about the law? What you did isn't something that you can just get away with without a punishment. Apologizing isn't going to make any of this go away. You committed a crime when you ran over my friend and another when you just drove off. Both are pretty big crimes. You're definitely going to be spending some time in jail. If they also find out that you did this on purpose, then you're going to be locked away for a very long time. You've just ruined your future completely. I think you told me that you're currently attending a famous university or something. You also got second place in a beauty pageant, right? Well, I've got bad news for you. It doesn't look like you're going to be graduating. Let's see how many years you're going to be spending locked up. You're lying. Stop trying to trick me and make me worried. I'm not going to believe anything that you tell me. Do you want me to prove that this is all true or something? That's pretty pointless because the police are going to arrest you pretty soon. That should prove it to you well enough. Trinity and I are not going to listen to any of your pleas no matter what. We're going to take you to court and make you pay for everything that you've done. We'll make sure that you're charged for the crimes that you committed. I'll make sure all your friends and relatives find out about what you did as well. Be prepared for your life to crumble right in front of you, princess. No, that can't happen to me. I really didn't mean for any of this to actually happen. All I wanted to do was stop the wedding. I didn't commit any crimes. I just wanted to help out Blake. Shut the hell up. Stop trying to make excuses and take responsibility for your actions. 
If you really think that you didn't do anything wrong, then come and explain it to me face to face. If you can't do that, then go and hide while you wait for the police to come pick you up, you absolute coward. Don't commit a crime like you did if you're scared to face the consequences. You really need me to come and tell you all this to your face? I'm so sorry. I really am sorry. Would you please forgive me for everything I've done? I admit that I was wrong. I'm so sorry. <sighs> it's too late now. You should have apologized before running someone over with your car. Go and turn yourself into the police right now. Don't be a coward and run from them. They're going to catch you eventually. If you show that you are sorry for what you did by turning yourself in, I'm sure that would help you out a little. Soon after we talked, Reagan decided to turn herself into the police. A few days later, Reagan's lawyer came to us to have a discussion with us. After talking with Trinity, we decided that we would settle if she paid for all the damage that she caused to us. Reagan didn't end up spending any time in jail. However, she still had to pay a large sum of money, and she was still kicked out of the university. She couldn't pay the settlement fees herself, so her parents paid it all for her. I heard that she's currently working hard to try and pay back her parents. Me and Blake received an apology letter from Reagan and her parents a few weeks later. They apologized for what Reagan had done and promised that she would never bother either of us again. The entire letter was very dramatic and desperate, and it was very satisfying to read after all that had happened. We actually decided to go ahead with the wedding the day after the accident happened. Reagan thought that she had injured me badly. However, I actually got out of it all with just a small bruise. They let me out of the hospital that night so I could have my wedding the next day. I'm sure Reagan mistook Trinity's injuries for mine. Trinity wasn't able to attend my wedding as she had to stay in the hospital for a few weeks. Me and Blake decided to go to Trinity's hospital room right after the wedding. I made sure to visit her while still wearing my wedding dress. Trinity looked really happy to see me with my dress and started crying. Trinity recited the speech that she'd prepared for us from her hospital bed. And then it was my turn to cry. Although a lot of drama happened, I was very satisfied with my wedding, and almost all of the tears shed were happy ones.